So do you really think they ran away with your money? Yes, at the time it appeared that they had taken the money and run. That's not good. No, that's not good. Hello and welcome. Glad to see you here. We are discussing what's been going on with this box. It has had some issues and I'm caught up in the middle of them. And it's a mess. Yes, it's a mess. The box that I'm showing you today is from November, December. And that is part of the reason why I really thought they had taken the money and run. This box did not show up until around the 18th of January. It should have been here around the 18th of December, but it wasn't. And I had emailed them. I had put messages on Instagram. And for a while there, they were ghosting me, which raises a concern that someone took the money and ran. After much discussion and three tracking numbers, yes, three tracking numbers, and being ghosted for a while, they finally did say that there was weather issues in Canada and U.S. that had slowed things down. And I was willing to give it to them on that one because yes, there were some nasty weather issues going on in the end of November, December. I was willing to give them benefit of the doubt on that, but three tracking numbers, uh-uh. Eventually on the 13th of January, I got an email from them that said that they'd had major setbacks in December hmm, and that they were working to get back on track. I still at the time thought that they'd just taken the money and left. So I've put in a chargeback on my credit card. Well, now the box finally showed up. So I'm trying to work with my credit card because as aggravated as I am with Chic Beauty Box, I do want to pay for the box that I finally did receive. Another channel that I follow, and I believe they get their box in PR, I'm not for sure, but I think they do. They got a message saying that the Canadian weather caused shipping delays, I think both in getting the products from companies and getting the boxes out to us. Again, okay, I can deal with that. I can't change the weather. If I could change the weather, I wouldn't be sitting here on YouTube. The other thing I thought that was kind of interesting is that the person that I think gets it in PR was told that they were having team management changes within their company. Why not tell that to everybody? Why only tell that to someone that gets PR? Also on an interesting note, when I went to make the choice preferences in January for the January, February box, it says that it is postponed for choices, preferences, aiming to bring you the greatest box of all time. Thank you for your patience. And that they will notify us when choices or preferences are available, that for now it's postponed until further notice. So, yeah. I did manage to get myself charged the January, February box. I think I was afraid if I canceled, it would make it harder to get the money back for November, December. And now November, December finally did show up. So welcome to the mess of my life. It's always something. Yes, it's always something. So with all of that being said, let me show you what did show up 
for the November December Chic Beauty Box from 2022. We did get a card, and on the back of the card is information. I highlight things so I know what I'm talking about. This is from Olé Golden Vibes. Yes, this is a liquid golden eyeshadow. I'm not going to dig into it right now because I don't want it to dry out, and I know I probably won't use it anytime soon. To be exact, it might wind up in a future giveaway. I don't know. Uh, the shade Golden Vibes 030. This is from L'Oreal. It is a glowing lip gloss. Yes, and it's in a nice enough neutral shade. Uh, part of my intent when I made these preferences was I was thinking ahead to holiday gifts and potential future giveaway boxes. One thing I noticed on the back of the product is it is in shade 04. It says, shall we dance? S-H-E-L-L. -L. So I'm wondering if this is something that they could not sell on their L'Oreal website because there was a typo, shall we dance? Or if that was just supposed to be a play on words, shall we dance? Shall we dance? I don't know. Leave a comment below. What do you think? And it's a nice enough shade. I'm not knocking the shade, but comment below. What do you think? We have an eyeliner from Vare Minerals, Aquamarine. Yes, this is a nice enough blue eyeliner. I'm not big on eyeliners, but I am learning that eyeliners can also be used as eyeshadows. So that's something I'm going to be playing around with here in 2023. We have a palette from Smashbox, and I like the way that it moves on the cover of the palette. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, Fatima the Camel, we can't sit here all day playing with the cover of the Smashbox palette. It has a mirror, and these are the eyeshadow shades. And this is not my usual pick for colors. My plan had been to put this in a giveaway or a donation box, and that is still the plan. It's just been delayed a little while. From Laura Mercier, we have a lipstick in the shade Violet. Yes, and I was excited to get this shade. It is in a nice pinky purple shade. So I'm definitely, I think this is probably the thing in the box that I'm most excited for. Comment down below. Did you see an item in here that caught your fancy? Yes, what did you like? I want to know. I'm curious. So now getting down to the nitty gritty. You mean the pricing? I mean the pricing. The Smashbox eyeshadow palette has a retail of $29. The Laura Mercier lipstick has a retail of $30. The eyeliner from Bare Minerals has a $19 value. The All May Cream Shadow has a value of $7.99. And the Glowing Lip Gloss from L'Oreal has a $9.99 value. Now, the way that Chicbox usually divides up their boxes. They have variation one, variation two. I wound up with a split between the two variations. So my overall box value was $99.98, which is less than what I would have gotten with variation one, $116.98, or variation two, $119.98. But with that being said, if I had gotten the 
eyelash curler, I would not have used it. And that has a $36 value. I don't do eyelash curlers. That goes back to an incident when I was doing community theater in junior high. Someone went to curl my eyelashes. I don't know if I was startled because I'd never seen one before or they didn't know how to use it or I'm not quite sure the full situation of it, but it was an unpleasant situation. I got poked more than I wanted to. Um, so based on that, I just, I don't use eyelash curlers. So I don't mind having a bit of a lesser box value because that eyelash curler is something I would not have used. Whereas the eyeliner, I will use that as an eyeshadow. In other nitty gritty pricing information, this box is $35 every other month. The shipping is $8 and then you have to throw taxes in there. So for me, the box is $43.31. So all things considered, when I look at what I got in the box and the value, I feel like I did get a decent return on my investment. I'm just irked that they couldn't be upfront with us about everything going on within their company. And there's also now the issue of I've put in a cashback request, but then I did receive the box. And in the process of all of that, I missed a deadline and didn't cancel for the January, February box. Part of me, I think, was afraid that if I canceled January, February, I wouldn't get my money back for November, December. It's a complicated mess. Leave a comment below. What do you think? I don't know what to think at the moment. Um, like I said, uh, we've got financial stuff flopping around. Uh, they're having management changes, which does happen in a company, yet I'm just not thrilled with this box. So we shall see what happens. Um, I might try to get my money back for the January, February box, or just kind of let this play out a little bit longer and see what happens. I don't know. Leave a comment below. What do you think about this whole situation? And we hope to see you again in another video. So subscribe if you'd like to. And again, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.